All right, I'm here to go ahead and walk us through our unit two uh, page of the study guide. Uh, remember, these are fill in the blanks, and so all we're going to do is just work through each of the bullet points. Uh, I'll highlight some stuff here and there, uh, but the goal here is just to try to give us a way to uh, to look through our material one more time in preparation for our final exam. Uh, we're doing this one day at a time, and so you should be doing this on Tuesday. Uh, it really doesn't matter that much to me which day you're doing it, as long as that you're spending some time with the study guide uh, in preparation for the exam. You can come back to this, um, to the video as well, and watch it again if you want to. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get going. So Earth's formation was less than 2.1. So starting there at the top under Unit 2 Plate Tectonics, the Earth is thought to have originated, uh, that first blank there is 4.5 billion years ago from dust accumulated from the Big Bang. Uh, high temperatures caused the material to be in a kind of a molten sort of state and then to settle by density as the materials cooled. Uh, next one, Big Bang Theory uh, is a theory that states that universe expanded from a very high temperature and very high density state approximately 14 billion years ago. Uh, further states that universe is, is still expanding and still accelerating. Uh, density stratification is where uh, layers develop based on density. The more dense things sink down, the, the things that are less dense rise up, uh, and the Earth is density stratified. Uh, for the Earth, most dense at the center, and it gets less dense. That's our next bullet point there, uh, as you move away from the center. Uh, the core is the innermost layer, uh, it's believed to be a solid inner core, uh, and a liquid outer core that is very iron rich. Uh, the mantle is the middle layer, a kind of a, uh, we would maybe call it a semi-plastic composition. And then the crust is our outermost layer. Uh, it is by far the thinnest of the layers. Uh, oceanic crust, our last uh, one there under that section, oceanic crust is younger than continental crust. That's what we want you to have there, younger. Uh, moving on to plate tectonics. The main features of plate tectonics, the Earth's surface is covered by a series of lithospheric plates. Uh, the ocean floors are constantly moving. They are spreading. That's your first one there, spreading and being regenerated in the center and then sinking and being recycled at the edges. We'll talk about that more with our different boundaries. Uh, seafloor spreading is the process where seafloor is moving away from these mid-ocean ridges uh, and new seafloor is being created. As they uh, move apart from each other, uh, new seafloor comes up into that uh, space where they're spreading away from. A mid-oceanic ridge, uh, so ridges is the term that you're looking for there. Mid-ocean ridges are a chain of submarine volcanic mountains that rise from the ocean floor. It's a, a, a mountain range formed by volcanic activity. Uh, your first one there we're looking at are different types of, of boundaries now. A divergent boundary is where plates pull apart from each other. So the plates are, are together and are pulling apart. Uh, and uh, let's see, this results in ridges. That's where our ridges are. Uh, and then the next we have our convergent boundaries, divergent pull apart, convergent come together. Uh, and at these convergent boundaries, this is where two or more plates are moving towards each other and collide. Uh, the result here can be mountains, uh, but the big one that we want you to know here is that we're gonna have trenches here. Um, trenches can occur at our convergent boundaries. They come together, uh, one is subducted under the other and it creates a, a trench as one goes under the other. Transform boundaries are where two or more plates just grind past each other. They're going in opposite directions and just slide past each other. Uh, the San Andreas Fault is a, our major example of this uh, and, and earthquakes are going to be a, a big deal here. It doesn't mention that there, but our transform boundaries are going to have lots of earthquake activity. Uh, hot spots are a particularly hot area in the mantle where magma is regularly coming through the crust, 
Uh, and as the man, as the crust moves over the mantle, over top of this hot spot, it creates an island chain. The hot spot is here, and the mantle is moving over top of the hot spot. Uh, and as the hot spot uh, continues to to push magma up, and and it forms mountain chains along the way as the crust is moving. All right, a couple more here on the other side. Oh no, that's it. There you go. Uh, that is your unit two. Uh, for the next video, we will look at unit three, properties of water. Peace.